Hey, kids, get in your back and let's play Breath of Fire 2! Um, I'm not on the emulator. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Last time we uh, realized we had to go up the mountain to get a mushroom so that the, I guess, genius guy could uh, cure the queen of Tunlin and her fat ass. So let's just go do that. Might as well, I mean. You need Sten for this part because he needs to get over these things. Which is kind of weird since... Which is kind of weird since they totally just made an area that you had to go through with him. So I don't know why they'd do this again. We have a new enemy here, Meated. Basically, the only thing this thing does is really put you to sleep. Let's see if nature does anything. Okay, we won't see if nature does anything because Spar is asleep. Now, the Pollens have a build-up attack, which does quite a bit of damage. Hopefully, we should kill them before they get a chance. So, yeah. Sten moved to level 26! Hooray! Now, the thing about, uh... Spar is that his nature command does an effect based on whatever terrain he's standing on. In the desert, it does a ton of damage. I didn't get to use it. But, you know. And we have some Gangas. Yeah, Gangas. Um, see if Ice Stone does anything. And we'll try nature again. See if it does anything inside a cave. They are similar to the, uh... Oh, of course not. They are similar to the... Other, the stone idols from earlier. only stronger. They also have the ability to do an earthquake spell, which will put the hurting on you if you, you know, if it happens. Fortunately, they aren't so ridiculously overpowered that you have a problem. And a lot of times they just do the defense move and, well, since it pretty much happens near the end of the round, it doesn't affect much at all. It should end it. There we go. 4,100 experience for yes, and we obtained a stone armor. Uh, none of my party, uh, my none of my party members can actually use that, but I'm pretty sure Rand can. And we get a moon drop. I don't know what the hell that does. A lot of useful treasure in this area, though. A lot of it. Recovers HP and bad status. It is a pretty much a awesome healing item. So you want to hold on to that. It's pretty much a, one of those too-good-to-use items, right? Right. Another enemy you can run into is you can run into the Sea Sludge here. The Sea Sludge will make sporadic appearances pretty much for the rest of the game. And so will this guy... No, not this guy, but this is a Venus Fly. It's an upgraded plant. Simple monsters, pallet swaps, nothing to worry about. It's dead. Not worth very much, either. But like the stone idols, those Ganga things are going to be what you gain a lot of experience off of. And we have the uh, other new enemy here, Banba Hands. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't freaking know. Poison attack. Didn't work. Okay, so he's poisoned now. But too bad you're dead. Uh, one day, Spar and John will be able to do actual damage. Well, that wasn't bad. Oh, hey, none of this. No Cure 2s on my watch. Yeah, take that. Yeah, so that's the... I think this is the last of the new enemies here. I don't know if anybody... I don't think the two people that have Cure Poison aren't with me, so... Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, okay so let's just keep moving on. Nice treasure to get. I got one of the drops that I wanted. We obtained a Thorn Whip. What I say about Spar doing damage? Eleven more points of attack power. He probably still won't do a whole lot of damage, but... 
better than... You know, any boost in attack power is better than what he's been doing, so I'll take it. So let's see if it's free. Alright, one more chest over here. I'm gonna cure all. Which is just like a, uh, I guess it's like a roast or a help BL. But for, uh, everybody. Alright, now we're in, uh, the weird area. This doesn't look like much, right? Right. We need to just take a step in this cave. To grab... A flame sword! Yeah! Fire sword! Fire sword! It's weaker than the buster sword. Gonna throw it out real soon. Or sell it. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I busted in the song. You want to go left first. For reasons that you'll see fairly shortly. There's an exit over here. And you may be thinking, this exit's to a ledge that has nothing on it. But if you go over here and you press down, you fall down in the waterfall. You turn to the right, you can grab this chest, which contains a hush ring, which is for Nina. And then you fall down here, but now you're, you know, back in the bottom. And the game's like, hey, I'm gonna lag. Alright. It's passable now. Nope. Ugh. Just more gold statues. Alright, um, you and yourself. Everybody should be fine. Let's just keep on moving. Fight through the lag. Fight through it, guys. You can make it. Come on, we're, we're getting there. Just stop with the nonsense game. We need a flame shield! Lots of, lots of good stuff here. Um, anyone else use this more than I could? Yeah, definitely John. Still has zero vigor. I have no vigor whatsoever, lazy frog. Alright. Okay. I think there's a chest over here. Oh, wait, no, that's the other exit. Oh, and Jean finally gained a level. I think this is just a room with a treasure chest in it. Isn't it? No, it's not there. Come on, game. This lag is not being fair to me. All right, there's a treasure chest, and there's an exit. Damn it. Man, those stupid gold things. Freaking duh. Ripes. Like one earthquake and my half my party's dev or all my party's devastated. Okay, those uh Banba guys, they can totally like zombie you, and then they have a move that once they zombie you, they can kill you. So yeah, just make sure you have a couple life pills hanging around. We get a uh, magma armor, which I think I can use. Yeah, but it's worse than the silver one. It's better than the gold, so here you go, Sten. Alright, so. Now, the exit from the room... The exit from the previous room that I did not take, as well as this exit over here, eventually lead to the same place. So you can take either one. There we go. And we need to find a certain mushroom. Now, the only mushroom I believe he'll accept is on this little left island over here that you need Sten to get to, which you can't have him... I don't know why they bother putting this here. You kind of need him to get up this far. Now, what I'm going to do is, if you, if you pick the wrong mushroom, because the second you pick the mushroom, you go back to the guy. So if you pick the wrong mushroom, and you have to come all the way back up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Create a save state. Right here. So that if I pick the wrong mushroom, I could just reload it up here and because I'm pretty sure it's this one. And you quickly run to the assistant. Yep, yeah, it's the right mushroom. Okay. This equipment? What do we get now? Oh, okay. 
Okay, we get a treasure chest. Huh, why didn't you just hand it to me? Use the equipment. Okay, I'll take care of it, I guess. I'm not sure about that, but alright. And in here we get uh, the mirror, which will be important later. So, we just use the free heal. Okay. Um, put myself in front again. Stop trying, to, stop trying to steal my leadership position, Sten. Alright, here we are. And use Spar to warp to Tunlin. Use my time warp spell to get the daytime. And there we go. Alright. Da da da. Actually, since. Yeah, I'm gonna change my party. Since I don't need Sten and. Technically, Jean. Jean gained a level or two, and so did Spar. Let's switch it up. Let's go with Cat, who hasn't made an appearance in a while. Uh, Rand, because he's the lowest level healer. And. Uh. Nina. Yeah. Now let's see if there's anything I got to equip on them, because I'm pretty sure I haven't given Cat her stick yet. Yeah. Can't use that. Rand. His knuckle. His stone armor. Nina, her ring. Alright, yeah, so... Pretty much. Alright, let's sell off some junk. And then, I think that'll be the end of the episode. We'll deal with the queen next time. Right? Right. Iron knuckle. On stick. I don't know what the hell that's for. Sweet armor. Ivy whip. Arm shield. Gold armor. Flame sword. Um. And the moth dagger. Skin inventory. There we go. Alright. Let's head for the palace. You know, I'm gonna try something. That's the map I've been using. No, didn't work. Alright. I noticed that when I was dealing with the lag in the other episode, while I was in a battle, I checked the map to see where I was going, and when I came back, the lag was gone. So, like, you know, I figured, hey, maybe that'll work. But, I guess not. So, sorry, gotta deal with it. But, you know, it's not too bad, I mean. It only happens during... ...walking. So, other than the fact that we... ...takes us a while to get anywhere. Yeah, we got your silly thing. Yes, it has. Okay, explain, what are you gonna explain? Oh, that's... ...not fun. Wait, what? Fight with the fatty. All of them? Oh, okay, so that's what the mirror's for. Oh, yeah, I intend to. Really? Are we ready? Find out, are we ready? What do we find inside? What is a fatty? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. So everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.